All right, it is wine season. Yep. All right, into the wine factory. We got a baby, we got a grinder. We get the sun rolling. Yeah. Turn it. Good job. All right, so we're making wine. We've got grapes ground in the mash bucket grinder. I pulled the thing of juice for a sample because we are doing test. How the hell do you use a hydrometer and what is that thing for? Okay. We're making wine. What is a hydrometer? Really nobody cares what a hydrometer is. Everybody wants to know how much alcohol is in their wine. How strong is my wine? What you have to do though is you can't test the wine after it's done. You've got to take a sample of fresh juice right here, which we saved. We're letting this kind of settle for a second because there's all that uh, debris floating in there. And then you take a sample after it's done fermenting the difference between the two numbers is how much alcohol there is. All right, so can you zoom in on this thing? This thing floats. This first scale here is 4% sugar, bailing, or they call it bricks. Good wine is between 20, 25%, something like that, which is estimated to be about between, are we in focus here? Yes. 10 to 15% alcohol Good boy. at the start. That's the sugar density of the juice, where this thing will float, the water will break the line somewhere in here. When it's done fermenting, this is going to go all the way down to almost zero. The difference between your starting number, doesn't matter if you count the bricks, the percentage, or if you want to use this specific gravity stuff that confuses me, doesn't matter. The difference between those two numbers is how much alcohol is in your wine. Got it? Okay. We're not done yet. All right, so let me, let me do this over the bucket so we can see it. I'm wasting it. All right, plenty. Okay, get in tight so we can see this. All right, ideally I'd let this sit on the counter for like an hour and let this separate out and you know, you get clearer juice, but for a demonstration, this is fine. Oh, that's too much, hang on. All gone. Where is this sucker? Oh my god, look at that. That is at 25. Can you see that? Can yes. You... That means that this wine has a ton of sugar. I mean, there's obviously some floaties in here that are offsetting it a little bit, but 25 is still really good. So taking that to mean, if you look at the alcohol potential side, float the right way. You got it in focus? That's... Uh, I can't turn it. If I turn it, it's going to change. Anyway, so that is like 14 to 15 percent potential alcohol. After this thing ferments for about a week, it's going to float somewhere like around here because the sugar will no longer be... The sugar will have been converted to alcohol. Alcohol is less dense. Therefore, this thing floats lower. Got it? All right. And that's it, man. That's how you use a hydrometer. Okay.